In this video, we're doing a word problem for ratio and proportion. The problem we've been given is two numbers have a ratio of 3 to 4, and their sum is 84. What are the numbers? So find the two mystery numbers. So what we have to do is convert this information into a couple of equations and then use those as a system of equations to solve for the numbers. So we say two numbers have a ratio of 3 to 4. So the way we're going to write that is x over y is equal to 3 over 4. So we're going to use x and y to represent the numbers that we need to solve for. We know that the ratio of x to y is 3 to 4, so we write these in a proportion. Remember that a proportion is just two fractions or two ratios set equal to one another. So when we say two numbers have a ratio of 3 to 4, we write the ratio of 3 to 4 as a fraction, 3 over 4, and we say x over y is equal to 3 over 4. We also know that the sum of the numbers is 84, so we can say that x plus y is equal to 84. Now we have two equations with two variables, so that's a system of linear equations, and we can solve this as a system to find the values of x and y. So what we want to do is convert this proportion here into a more manageable equation. Remember when you're trying to solve a proportion problem, you just cross multiply. So you draw an x in the middle here, and then we do our multiplication. So x times 4 is going to give me 4x, and y times 3 is going to give me 3y. So I say 4x equals 3y instead of this fractional equation here, this proportion. Now I have two more manageable equations. I'll use substitution to solve, and the way I'm going to do that is by solving this first equation for one of my variables. So I'll solve for x by dividing both sides by 4, so I'll divide both sides by 4, and I'll get x is equal to, because I'll get 4 and 4 here to cancel from the numerator and denominator, so x is equal to 3 fourths y. Now I have a value for x that I can plug into my other equation. So since I know that x is equal to 3 fourths y, I can plug 3 fourths y in for x here and get 3 fourths y plus y is equal to 84. Now I've got a fractional equation, and I want to multiply every term in the equation by 4 in order to get rid of the fraction, because if I multiply 3 over 4 by 4, I'll get that 4 to cancel and I'll just be left with 3. So I'm going to multiply every term by 4, so I'm going to say times 4, times 4, and times 4, and now I'll simplify. So 4 times 3 over 4, I'm going to get my 4's to cancel here and here, and I'll just be left with 3y. So I'll get 3y plus 4y equals 4 times 84, which will be 320 and 16, 336. So 336. Then I have 3y plus 4y. Those are like terms that I can combine. I'll get 7y equals 336. To solve for y, I'm going to need to divide both sides by 7. I'll get my 7's to cancel on the left leaving me with just y is equal to, and when I do 336 over 7, I'm going to get 48. Now I have this value here for y. I need to use this to find the corresponding value of x. Luckily, I have an equation right here for x in terms of y, so I just plug this value for y into this equation, and I'm going to get x is equal to 3 over 4, and then we know y is equal to 48, so I'm going to plug in 48. Now I can simplify, because I have 48 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator, I can reduce this. 4 goes into 48 12 times, so I can cancel the 4 and I can make this a 12. So now I just have x equals 3 times 12, or x equals 36. So I have two values, one for x and one for y, x equals 36, y equals 48. I need to test to make sure that these satisfy both of the original equations. So what I want to do is plug the numbers first into our proportion. So we have x over y equals 3 over 4. So I want to say 36 over 48 equals 3 over 4. If I try to reduce the left-hand side here, I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 12. 36 divided by 12 is 3. 48 divided by 12 is 4, so I end up with 3 fourths equals 3 fourths, so that equation is true, and I know x equals 36, y equals 48 satisfies my proportion equation. What about my second equation, x plus y equals 84, the sum of the two numbers is 84. Well, I just say 36 plus 48 equals 84, and I can see that when I add these, I'm going to get 70 and 84, so 84 equals 84. So that equation is true as well, which means x equals 36, y equals 48 satisfies that equation plus the proportion equation. So I know I found two numbers that meet these criteria.